What's up everyone? My name is Helen Creechy and today we are going to be doing the review on Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So, if you remember from my short video, I actually did a vlog called Call Mommy as we get set up for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie tonight on October 27th. And I like the movie. It's okay. I actually liked it. I actually liked it. It was pretty good. It could have been a little like jump scare stuff. I mean, it was like jump scare until like cupcake grabbing that hand, grabbing that Freddy's mouth. Speaking of Freddy, yeah, I'm close right here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the movie was pretty good. All right, let's start with the main plot of this movie. And Mike gets Mike gets fired from his job after beating up beating up a kid's dad. Literally, you're like, like seriously, no joke. I was kind of surprised at that too. And then he gets a new job at Freddy Fazbear's. He's a Freddy Fazbear security guard. And he does well on the first night. He ends up sleeping on the first night. And then he has like a dream. He he has like a dream about his past past life and losing his uh he's losing his uh brother. Yeah. Time for a story. Anyways uh, anyways I'm not I need to Abby's babies Abby Bay said a bunch of other guys went to a cafe and talked about for the Freddy Fazbear's pizza breaking inside and stealing a bunch of stuff. There's also this place of a girl called Vanessa, Vanessa, which I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty it's a pretty character to the Security Breach series. Anyways, back to Mike. He comes he goes home and goes time for the second night. I saw me. So yeah, it, do, it went okay. Same dream though. The kids started to run away. And then, also by the way, those five kids right there, that's actually the dead souls of the four children of the animatronics. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Vanessa shows up around the place on night two. And yeah, it was fun. But then in the day, but then in the, but then in the daytime, but then in the daytime, the four kids decided to break into pizza room and absolutely get demolished by the animatronics. And on night three, somehow, I don't know how. So, on the third night, Abby, I mean, Mike, decided to bring, decided to bring Abby over to Freddy Fazbear Pizza. And Abby basically didn't show up because he got murdered, remember? She got murdered. Yeah, he got his head ribbon off. So, on the next so on the next night, it disappeared and Mike was all for him. And somehow, but I don't know, Abby became friends with the animatronics. What? Does that make any sense? Aren't the animatronics supposed to be haunted? They're supposed to be evil. What? Okay. You know what? It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, Abby went over the ship and on night four, they drove Vanessa I had a little party time with him. I guess Freddy's supposed to be a good guy, I guess. And then... And then... And then, and then Abby decided to string the his guitar, which caused it a blackout. It's like... Which caused it a blackout. And then... And then it becomes a knife five. And then... And he had that same... And then Mike had the same dream again about the four kids. And it turns out... And it... And it turns out they actually... It's actually it's, the kid, the, the, the man who killed, who who got his Michael's brother was okay. I'll I'll explain to that, uh, I'll explain to that later. I'll explain to so on night so on night five so on night five Mike so on night five Michael Michael mistakes Michael mistakes that Abby said wants her. Abby says wants her, so Abby goes to pizza re so Abby goes to pizza re Abby goes to pizza re and only gets stuffed by soup. But Michael jumps in and say Yeah, Mike Michael jumps in to save her from taser and tase the animatronics. He was Abby was hiding in a moment, but Foxy jumping out of nowhere. Vanessa came out and saved him. But then guess who there the whole time? Spring trap. Vanessa's son. Vanessa's son? What do you mean? I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, he just literally just knocks out, he knocks out Michael, he literally kills Vanessa, and then, turns out, Abby draws a picture of what happened to him. And it turns out, actually, remember, remember, my, remember Mike's brother got taken? Well, actually, that was William Afton this entire time. What? I didn't actually think that scene was coming. 
So then, Shabby took a picture of what happened to the events of the animatronics, and he tried to turn on them. And the cupcake literally comes out of nowhere and bites and bites part of his body. So the spring lights come together and almost kill him. Then the animatronics take away, the place starts to collapse, and all of a happy ending. Also, Vanessa comes to the hospital. Maybe we'll appear in the maybe we'll show appear in the sequel. I don't know. Let me have have ending, but in the ending, we still see one Freddy children, like this guy right here, watching William have to die. And then he closes the door and then the credits roll. There is going to be a sequel coming out. I know there's going to be a sequel coming out. Now my f and that was the whole plot of the movie. Now my thoughts on the movie? It was good. I actually could have been good. Could have a lot more jump scares door. And a lot more lore. But it was good. I actually liked it a lot. Alright guys, that was it. My Freddy Fazbear FNAF movie review. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is not Peace. Bye.